Good afternoon, Year 10 and 12 students, and thank you for joining me today. It's Mr Shields speaking from his house and speaking to you this afternoon. Only a few days out from starting, and I'm hoping that you guys are well, you're keeping safe, and we're looking forward to seeing you soon. And what this video does is it sits next to Mr Scott Evans' video, which he released last week, but this is more aimed towards you, the students about what to expect, what you're going to see, and what and will happen over the next five weeks of wider reopening. So yes, you will see some similar slides and some information that Mrs Scott Evans spoke to you and your parents about, but um, there will be some new information as well about how the site will look, timing, specifics. You can, so you can come fully prepared knowing that we've tried to cover every base possible, um, so you can come back safely and and at ease. So, like with anything, we look at our values and with, like with everything we're doing right now, being respectful and responsible is possibly more important than ever, especially when you're coming back to a situation which you haven't been in the past 12 weeks, where there's going to be strict rules and guidelines in place to keep you safe and healthy. And it's, it's important that we're all responsible in making sure that we do cover these rules and guidelines um, to the letter. And obviously the aim of today's video is to reassure you, to inform you and to educate you. We need to make sure you're comfortable coming back. We're going to inform you of the progress and educate you um, as to what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks. I put this in here as a little quote to start with and I like it. Um, in this situation, we all need to pull together. We need to make sure that the collective result of the team is more important than the individual. You will see friends that you haven't seen in weeks, but we're all in that situation and we all want to see and hug our loved ones, but we know we can't. So even though it's going to be exciting to see your friends, it's important that you do follow the guidelines and expectations that we do set out today. And remember, put your individuality aside. This is about the benefit of the group. So as you come in, most of your lessons will be based in the Justin Lobby building. You will um, have noticed when you do come in, there is a lot of new signage and guidelines and we're making the Justin Lobby building a one way building. So the entrance will be over on the left hand side by the pavilion and the exit will be on the right hand side by the gate. That is a strict entrance and exit only route. Please make sure you follow that to avoid crossing over on stairs. And as you know already, this is a three step plan for year 10 students, starting with your academic review meetings next week, moving on to um, core and option teaching on alternate weeks afterwards. And the same for year 12, without the switch between core and option, you'll be doing your two hour face to face lessons on a fortnightly rotation over weeks two to five after your academic meetings next week. And let's start with the academic reviews. Um, we're obviously in full gear preparing for that um, this week and previous week and the weeks leading up to this. Um, but obviously the, the, the main um, ideas of the academic review is to get you back into school, is for you to see your form tutor, um, is to review how well you've been performing at home in any areas you've been struggling in, and to make sure that you are ready to go for the teaching sessions which resume next week. And of course, your parents have been signing you up and if you haven't signed up yet, please do so by the online booking system that we use for parents' evenings. So the academic review is very different to the um, teaching and we're gonna speak about this first. And it's really important that you do follow these instructions. So when you arrive at school, you will need to come to the main pedestrian entrance, is, which is next to where the cars enter the school. You'll know that it's just the buzzer entrance where you press the buzzer and you're let through. You'll be um, um, buzzed through to the school site. You'll be sent through to the Justin Welby building and we'll register you as you do come through the gates. As you do come through the gates, there'll be hand sanitizer for you to wash your hands after you've pressed the buzzer. Um, so, and we'll be wiping those buzzers down throughout the day as well. 
When you head into the building, you're going to head straight to your classroom. We'll tell you which room to head to. You'll be greeted by a member of staff. You'll, be, you'll head straight to the classroom. You must sanitise your hands on the way in. There's hand sanitizer in all of our classrooms that we're using over the coming weeks. You will need to collect a chair. You will need to place that chair two metres away on the mark in front of your form tutor. Speak to them, spend some time with them. Um, if there's a queue, you'll only be invited into the room when the form tutor is ready for you to come in. If there's a queue, there's spot, there will be spots for you to stand on two metres apart, ready for, you to light, ready for you to head in where necessary. Once you've spoken to your form tutor, um, you'll move your chair to one side, and I'll explain that more in a minute, and you'll follow the exit signs straight out the downward stairs of the Justin Robbie building, and then you'll head straight home. No congregating, straight off site, straight back to your house. And as you can see, here's me demonstrating what's going to happen. Everybody will use a clean chair. You'll only use a chair once. You'll place the chair down two metres away, from your form tutor, you'll speak with your form tutor for 10 minutes and when you're finished, you will place that chair to one side. So no one will use a chair more than once and um, you will then switch over um, to a new chair when the next person comes in. Those chairs will be cleaned at the end of the day by our cleaning um, staff who work in school throughout the school day. That will be the same for year 10 and 12. So that process will be exactly the same, regardless of what room you're in, in the Justin Welby building. Now, Mr Scoven spoke briefly about your timetable. I'm going to talk to you a bit more about this in more detail. Once we've gone past the 15th of June, we head into the 22nd of June. And this is for year 10 only at the moment. Um, you will be taught on days. So... Whenever you come in, if you say, for example, you come in on the 22nd of June on a Tuesday, Tuesday will be your day in school. So we have, um, the government like, likes to use the word bubble, but we have bubbled you by days. So your, your, your teaching day will remain the same for the remaining four weeks of the term. So, yeah, like I said, if you come in on a Tuesday, that will be your day and you will stay in on a Tuesday and you'll come in every Tuesday, you will not change or switch to keep bubbles the same to reduce the mixture of students um, crossing paths. And as you can see, for the core weeks, you're going to have four lessons of one of maths, one of English and two science. And your option weeks, you will have a lesson from each of your options. And I'll explain how that's going to work in a minute. For year 12, we're offering two hour masterclasses on a fortnightly rotation. Your first session will start at 12.15. You will, uh, your second session will start at 2.30 and you'll have a timetable sent home to you. And that's the same for year 10 as well. We'll have a timetable sent home to you as well. Um, and you only need to come in for the lessons you're required to attend. Now, you will only, the vast, vast majority will only have one session a day. There is a small number of students who will have two sessions in one day. But even then, we will clear you out of rooms, you'll have sanitise, clean down, and the, the time, the uh, mixing between different students will be minimal because you'll all be two metres apart. We'll keep social distancing really tight. But most of you, the, the vast majority of you, will only have one session per day. It's difficult, pretty much near on impossible, due to the nature of um, how sick form works, to have you in day bubbles due to the lack of subjects, and it wouldn't work. So we've had to work in the best way possible to make sure that you are not mixing as much as possible and it will be a fortnightly rotation so you'll be in for three times or four if you're being further maths three times over a fortnight okay but like i said it's we are doing everything we can to reduce interaction and make sure areas are clean and social distancing is maintained and when it comes to groups these cannot change there will be no opportunity for your parents to call in and go oh can they be with this person or this person that will not be happening at all. You will still see some of your friends, but we have had to group them specifically based on a vast number of factors. 
option groups, option sizes, size of groups, all of these areas that we'll take into account. And like I said, in year 10, this is you coming in the same day where possible. And there is a, a distinct possibility that you will not be with your normal teacher. Okay, but you will still be with a teacher of that subject in most cases. Now, the rooms we use, like I said, most of our lessons will be in Justin Welby. Um, we are using some of these other rooms for larger sessions, and these will mainly be used for sixth form students in larger groups. So we'll be using the other, other um, rooms below, but they'll be for mainly for larger group teaching. Same process applies, desks will be two metres apart, hand sanitizer wipes will be in the desk, in the, in the space at all time. Now in terms of timings, this is, again, this is for mainly for year 10, um, pretty much all for year 10, because they've got a lot more lessons. They like said year 12 are coming, it's a lot more simple to organise. You get in 10 minutes before, five minutes before your um, session, get tall, go home. Now, for your core week year 10s, you are going to have four 40 minute lessons in the same room at the same desk. So during your maths, English and science week, you will not move classrooms, you will not move desks. And when we say at the same desks, once you sit at the desk you are allocated, you will not move or switch desks at all for the rest of that day. All lessons start at 8.30, so the earliest you arrive is 8.25. Simple as that. If you arrive earlier, we will find a socially distant space for you to go, but basically we do not want you arriving any earlier than about 8.20, 8.25 for your um, lessons. Now, if you're in the same room, that means teachers have to change rooms. So basically, there will be teacher transitions. Between, between period one and two, there is a five minute transition where teachers will move classrooms. Teachers are wiping down their computers and moving to their next space. Between periods two and three, we're going to have a supervised changeover where we're going to take you outside to stretch your legs, to get some fresh air, fresh air before period three starts. You will be spaced two metres apart. You'll have an opportunity to get some fresh air, stretch off, and then by the time you've got downstairs and back upstairs, that 10 minutes will go past really quickly. In the five minute teacher transitions, stand up, stretch. You're more than welcome to do that you will not be moving you will not be social distancing will stay very very stringent and you will basically make sure that you do everything that we ask you to do whilst the teacher quickly changes from one room to the next in option week it's the same process four 40 minute lessons however and these start at 8 30 again however because you're in different option groups there will be student transitions and this is really important Student and teachers will be changing rooms. There'll be a 10 minute changeover between each period where you'll come down to the playground, be spaced two uh, metres apart, and then collected by your next teacher. Now, hopefully you're not worrying about, well, what if someone sat at a desk or a chair? We have calculated it that actually, you will not sit in a desk or a chair that has been used by someone else. We have got enough desks in the classroom that each desk and chair area will be single use for the day. And during option week, all you will need to do once you've finished your lesson is place, turn your chair on its side and slide that chair under the desk. That will signify that, that desk has been used and it cannot be used again during that day. We have considered all of these factors over weeks of planning, so it's important that they're followed. Now, obviously, we're not expecting you to remember all of this and your teachers will support you during this. But like you said, we have considered the switching of rooms and the cross contamination of desks. But we have put that into place that you will only use a desk once or a desk will only be used once during that day. And they'll be cleaned thoroughly in the evenings. For the transition points, like I said, they'll be centralised on the playground. Staff will supervise. Um, you will stand on a spot. We are going to space you out two metres apart where you will stand on a spot. You can stretch, you can move your muscles around, move your legs around. And then by the time you've all got out there, it will pretty much be time to go back into your next classroom. You will be asked to leave 
in an orderly fashion. You will be dismissed one at a time so you don't cross past each other in classrooms. Then you will meet staff downstairs who will place you on the spot that is two metres apart from the next person. You can talk to people outside, but you do not leave the spot. You do not um, move around and remove uh, and close that two metre distancing in. Again, this is the transition points are we, are we are relying on you to do the right thing and follow our instructions to the letter. Now, you've seen this from Mr Scott Evans, so I won't spend too long on this. Consider your travelling. Try not to use public transport if you can. Can you cycle? Can you walk? Can a parent drop you off? Can you be taken by a taxi? If you are cycling to school, use the bike rack. However, it's a one in, one out policy where markings will be placed and you'll have to wait. And if you are um, using public transport, you will need to use a mask on the public transport. That is government guidance. But when you get to school, that mask must be disposed of or placed in a bag to take home again afterwards. And as you arrive at school, you'll start to see lots of signage that is up. Um, we've started to put the signage up at the start at the end of, the, end of this week. So the two metres apart. And more importantly for parents, um, parents, please do not approach the school. As Mr Scott Evans said, you will not be, um, we will not um, be speaking to parents without appointments or via email. So if you've got an urgent matter, the only reason to an approach a member of staff is if it is an emergency or, some, uh, or, or something of an urgent nature that cannot wait. Um, but more often than not, we'll be asking parents, if you do approach us, to call us or email us at another time. As you walk through the gates, you'll be greeted by um, san sanitation stations where you will um, sanitise, where you've been walking to school, getting out of a car, using your bike, you'll sanitise your hands. You will be registered by a member of staff. They will tell you where your room is and then you'll head straight up to your first lesson. If you will not congregate on the playground, you'll head straight up to your first lesson. And again, this is where we have, um, you, you've seen this before from Mr Scott Evans, you only come on site if you're on the rotor. Don't arrive more than five minutes before. Stay two metres apart, go straight up to the lesson, no social gatherings, and parents should not approach members of staff at all, unless it's a safeguarding emergency. These signs will be on the screens, and they're a good reminder of everything you need to do. Washing your hands, not touching your face, abiding by the catch it, bin it, kid it, public health guidance, as well as the usual non-contact greeting, social meeting, social distancing, and we're working together to protect families. This isn't about you. Remember I said at the start, this isn't a, an individual thing. This is about the greater society. We're working to protect our families as well. And it's not just your families, your friends' families. It's our teaching staff families as well. Okay, We're working to protect everybody in this situation whilst providing you with education and getting back to some sort of normality. And we've adjusted our behaviour policy that is very black and white. There's no grey area. There's no... Uh, wiggle room here it's very black and white you need to follow this no questions asked so you leave promptly you don't congregate at all you use hand sanitizer on entering buildings you use you use a sanitizer before and after the toilet as well as washing your hands you don't physically contact with anybody you don't switch equipment you stay in your seat and you maintain safe, um, a safe distance when moving around the building and like i said to you the main reason is this is a team effort. The group is most important. Put aside your personal feelings of the virus or social distancing or wanting to see your friends and make this easy for everybody. This has been a tough moment for, all, for staff, families and parents. You need to make sure that we are taking this exceptionally seriously. And as speaking from the person who's in charge of behaviour, okay, there are no excuses for not following our expectations at all. Absolutely none. So please do not make us have to step in because you're not thinking and not following our expectations. So as we said to you before with uniform, you are welcome to school in your PE kit. Let me clarify a couple of things for you. Girls, if you want to wear leggings under your skirt or under some shorts, you are more than welcome to. We know it's a bit chilly at the moment, even though it's June. However, you do not come to school just in leggings. That is not on. You need to be wearing your leggings underneath something. If you wish to wear plain black tracksuit bottoms, you are more than welcome to. The reason why we're asking you to turn up in your kit 
is because you are identifiable. It's easy to wash of, of an evening and you're also identifiable. So heaven forbid if the worst case happens where you are hit by a car or something happens or you're approached by someone in the way to, on the way to school, people know where you're from and will contact us instantly. Okay, it must be Beckett Keys kit. It can't be your own PE kit. PE kit. It must be Beckett Keys PE kit for year 10 students. Wear a coat, doesn't have to be the hoodie. You can wear a coat, but you need to have some sort of recognizable logo on you for safety. Year 12s, if you've got Beckett Keys kit, great. If you haven't, don't worry. It's not the end of the world, um, but please try and wear some recognizable kit. Don't bring in huge bags. A small wipeable bag is needed. The more bags you have, the more table that's, table that's gonna touch. Don't bring in um, massive bags. Bring in the minimum of what you need. Don't bring in books. We'll provide you with paper and we'll explain how it's gonna work in a minute. And bring a full water bottle. All the water fountains will be turned off. There will be no food. Try not to bring snacks in. If you're in year 10, have a big breakfast. If you're in year 12, have a big lunch. Anything you eat, you must take wrappers away from you. There'll be no use of bins. And if you can't come in, please obviously contact the office at Beckett Key's email address, stating one of those five reasons. If you do have, if, if your if your reason for not attending doesn't fall within these first four reasons here, then please state the other reason. Um, and please give us a reason why you are not coming in. That needs to be emailed in of the morning that you're not planning to attend your session. And in terms of PPE, um, we're not using PPE. We've been advised not to use PPE. We only use PPE during first aid. Students will be asked to re remove PPE and take it home. Okay, that's not something we're doing. We are, in, we are putting in place strict social distancing and cleaning measures. And PPE is only recommended if social distancing cannot be maintained. And uh, we are ensuring that social distancing is being maintained. Okay, if the is in school, please don't bring it in because we have to store it for 72 hours before um, um, putting it in the bin. And what you'll see throughout the school is various different bits of signage. Exit signs, directional signs, upstairs, downstairs signs, please stand here signs. You must follow them. They're there for a reason, okay? That needs to be followed, okay? So please make sure you do do that. Like I said, don't cause yourself a problem by not following them. Again, you've seen this from Mr. Scott Evans. The big thing we've, we've added in here for you guys is don't touch surfaces. Don't use handrails going up the stairs unless you absolutely need to. Outside buildings in Justin Willoughby, don't lean on the handrails. They are going to be cleaned, every hour, touch points are cleaned every hour, but use the runway system, don't unnecessarily touch handrails and follow guidelines, floorings, posters, signage around the school. And as you know, we have spent at painstakingly carefully timetabled your time to ensure that you're in your bubbles or you're only in a certain period of time for sit form students. The desks are two meters apart. There will be no face-to-face -face group work. There will be no lining up outside the classroom and there will be no desk swapping at all. If you've got a visual issue where you need to be sat near the front, please indicate that to your teacher um, before going into the room. And what you will notice is teachers will not be going around the room to you answering your questions. Teachers cannot come and read that piece of work. Teachers will be teaching from the front. So you need to be able to put your hand up and ask a question or be willing to read out what you have written down if it's a response to a question. Teachers cannot come over to you and interact in a normal way. And just to put your mind at ease, here is what one of the classrooms looks like. All of our classrooms in Justin Welby look like this. So at the front, there's hand sanitizer and wipes. And as you go around, there are 11 or 12 desks depending on the size of the room that are all spaced out by two meters. So social distancing can be maintained easily within those classrooms. In terms of um, cleaning, everything's gonna be cleaned regularly. Um, if, you, if we instruct you to, you'll be asked to wipe down your desk and chair before use. If you want to do that anyway, that's where the wipes are there for. 
We have sanitizer and antibacterial wipes in every single room. You will use the sanitizer as you go in. So here is the responsibility you need to follow. You'll go in, you'll sanitize your hands, you'll take a wipe, you'll take some pen and paper that is at the front, you'll wipe down your desk and chair, you'll do your work. The only time you will need to re-wipe your desk is if you are not returning to that classroom. On core week, when you are staying in the same seat, in the same desk, that's yours all day, that will be cleaned in the evening. Bin everything on the way out, and the last thing you do before you leave the room is sanitise your hands again. You'll probably sit there going, that's a lot of sanitation, but like you said, we're not taking anything for granted here. And we're making sure that you guys are as safe, and we're doing everything we can to reduce risks on you. Now, for subjects such as art and textiles, you will be asked to bring it in your work. If you do bring in your work, don't bring it in on a day because actually we need to quarantine your work for 72 hours to make sure the virus, if there is anything on there, has died by that point. So please make sure if you do need to bring work in, bring it in beforehand so we can quarantine it for 72 hours. And in all of our rooms, windows and doors will be open. They'll be flooded with air in the morning and throughout at various points throughout the day as well. And to reassure you further, touch points are cleaned on an hourly basis. Toilets are cleaned regularly. Rooms are cleaned at the end of each day. And at some points for some rooms where they're being used more than once, they'll be cleaned during the day as well, all in line with government guidance. Now, the big thing is toilets. You are only in school from 8.30 to about half 11. Hopefully you won't need to use the toilets. But if you do, only use a toilet if absolutely necessary. A member of staff will be radioed who will escort you to the toilet to use it. There'll be, there'll be chewing spots on the floor if needed, or for, if needed for a, a slightly longer queue. You will have, only have access to the toilets in the building you are in. The carry toilets are out of use because they are used by our key worker provision students, which is still happening in the carry building. You will only have access to the Justin Welby toilets if you are in Justin Welby, Runcie, Sports Hall, depending where you're, te you're learning at that time. And there are hand sanitizers outside of the um, toilet, which I'll show you in a minute, and you will sanitize your hands before you go in, go to the toilet, Wash your hands for 20 seconds and then sanitise on the way out as well. And we've got sanitizer pumps near the entrances to doors and toilets. Um, and this needs to be used in addition to washing your hands regularly. And these are what the sanitizer pumps are used. So it's a quick squeeze, press your hand on the bottom, press your palm of your hand on the bottom lever here, and the sanitizer will come out and rub it into all the areas as shown on the images around the, uh, the, the pump. In terms of catering, like I said, you are only in school in the morning or in the afternoon for sick form. No on-site catering. Bring, do not try to bring minimal food in, unless, for example, you're diabetic and you need to bring food in, but you will need to take all rubbish home with you. The water fountains will be turned off. Bring water with you. However, if you are entitled to free school meals, the voucher scheme will still continue um, for your families to use. And in terms of first aid, but because there are no breaks, no lunch, no sport, there's fewer accidents, fewer incidents. There will be a non-contact first aid space set up. So for example, you're feeling sick and you're going to throw up, you'll be given a bucket and you'll be told to sit somewhere quietly, um, socially distanced away from the staff. The only time we will use PPE is if social, social distancing cannot be possible. We will try and avoid using PPE. But if we need to, we will use PPE and we have all of the necessary PPE to keep our staff safe. And as we're coming to the end of this presentation, if you become ill, please let your parents know before coming in. and They will make decisions about whether you attend or not. If you develop symptoms, follow guidance, but more, most importantly, please let us know as per the four or five statements that I mentioned earlier. 
So in summary, I know at some point I sounded quite blunt and to the point, but you must understand that we are taking this exceptionally seriously. Extensive planning has gone into place to make sure that we reduce as much, and as much risk to you as possible. And although I've been quite firm at some points during this video, it is to reassure you that we have got everything under control and that we have taken, we have taken into account as much as we think as possible. We seek the guidance from our the Russell Education Trust and we have used, we have spent weeks planning for this eventuality. We can only plan so much though. We all need to play our part. And the big thing is that every action from any, every individual counts. It's imperative that you do follow our guidance, our expectations and our rules in this situation. I'm hoping now that you've seen the classrooms, that, you, that you've listened to this, that we have got as much, we've, we've tried to reduce the risk as much as possible. So hopefully you'll come in on Monday reassured, on Tuesday, sorry, reassured, that we have done everything we can to keep you guys safe. And most importantly, we're looking forward to seeing you soon. We're looking forward to having you back in school, meeting you again, and most importantly, teaching you again. As always, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to um, speak with me and your uh, Miss Ellis or Mr. Peggs or Miss Course regarding um, this uh, coming weeks. So thank you for your time today. We look forward to seeing you starting next Tuesday and we'll see you all soon. God bless.